Hello and welcome back to the Stronghold. Today we're going to talk about a deck uh, archetype as well as an alternate win condition. Um, this goes back all the way to Alpha. Uh, in fact, uh, what you're seeing on the screen right now is one of the newer artworks for the card Millstone. Uh, the idea being that if your opponent cannot draw a card, they lose the game by default. Uh, it's been around forever, and uh, really it had been kind of a, well, I guess the term is a meme deck for many, many years, but it seems that Wizards of the Coast and, by extension, Arena are starting to take it more seriously in its card design and have really made it a viable deck option over the last couple years. But before we get into all that, Did you know that the majority of YouTube watchers never end up subscribing to channels, even the ones they watch the most? So allow me to take this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to the Planeswalker Stronghold for all your new player experience, budget, and free-to-play needs. That way, you never miss out on a thing. And without further ado, let's talk about Mill. And of course, we have to start the conversation with Teferi's Tutelage. Uh, this is the card that really made Mill viable as an archetype uh, as far as having any kind of win uh, percentage that was worth talking about, uh, at least from a budget perspective. Uh, it would be hard to imagine any Mill deck right now that does not run at least two copies of this card uh, and will be running a full four. And to go beyond that, we're going to be adding in another option with Sage of Mysteries. Uh, this card turns any enchantment in your deck into a mill card. Uh, because as much as they try, they still haven't printed a lot of mill cards, particularly outside the Throne of Eldrin set. Uh, so we are going to use cards to turn other cards into mill components. This turns pseudo removal enchantments like So Tiny or Frogify not only into uh, effective removal options in mono blue, but also allow us to mill our opponents every time one of these comes into play. Um, the uh, So Tiny, of course, has Flash, making it a combat trick as well. Uh, really, a lot of value here for one blue mana. And of course, with all that enchantment focus, a card like Thirst for Meaning uh, combined with Teferi's Tutelage really create a uh, not only a substantial draw effect, but also a great deal of milling. Uh, I have seen uh, with multiple Teferi's Tutelage in play, mills for 9, 10, 12 drops all at once off of this card. Uh, really fantastic. And when you boil down all those concepts, you get a deck somewhat like this. Uh, again, Mono Blue really built around enchantments with the ultimate goal of milling out our opponent as a win condition. Now, of course, this deck does make some concessions, particularly for our new player experience players that are really starting out with a very limited collection. Uh, cards like uh, Shambling Suit and Opt may ultimately be suboptimal in this deck, uh, but I have placed those in there because they are somewhat on theme with the deck and allow you to have some easy cuts as your collection continues to grow and get more focused on that mill aspect. Uh, an enchantment like the Omen uh, not only lets us scry, lets us draw cards, but when we have the Teferi's Tutelage in play, also will mill our opponents. And when we have Sage of Mysteries, it becomes a double mill possibility. Uh, really uh, in the running for one of the most powerful cards in the deck. Uh, so far, I have found Op to be really subpar for me personally and I am playing around with some different alternatives on that. So I very strongly encourage you to use this as a base list and then play with it and allow the deck to evolve according to what's in your collection, uh, saving those wild cards for other things. 
So with all that having been said, let me take this opportunity to invite you to like, comment, and subscribe. It is the budget way to support the channel right now so that we can get out there and reach even more of our target community. And until next time, I'll see you in the arena.